Hello, everyone. Thank you for the introduction. My name is Hetka. I am a statistician working here at QED, and I am very passionate about citizen science data. I think that through citizen science, we can make um, a positive change in society, and we can solve very difficult problems. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the projects that we have here at QED. So and let's start with the importance of citizen science. Citizen science is one of the greatest tools in modern research for several reasons. For example, it is increasing the engagement with the general population in science, is contributing to conservation efforts, and is creating awareness about biodiversity. Scientists can collect large volumes of data in short periods of time using uh, these methods, covering large spatial and temporal scales. It also provides a unique opportunity for engagement between the public and scientists to answer important scientific questions. Our work in citizen science. We have been using citizen science data in multiple projects. I am interested in finding the best ways that we can use data produced by citizen scientists to answer relevant ecological questions. In our research, we try to maximize the utility of citizen science produced data. We build statistical models for learning about the skills of the participants and how they learn, how difficult are these tasks, and how much guessing behavior is involved in the process. We also develop computational tools that are freely available for scientists and practitioners. So far, we have worked in a group of citizen science projects here at QUT. In my case, the largest work that we have done so far is the virtual Rift Taiba. You see here an image from the website, which is um, this project is a web-based citizen science platform work where we ask participants to classify on their water images from multiple locations of the Great Barrier Reef. In this project, we have engaged with thousands of participants, not only from Australia, but also from the rest of the world. We use this image classification to learn about coral cover and to make prediction across the whole barrier reef. Using data produced by volunteers has been very useful to create scientific knowledge, and it has resulted in several scientific articles. But why do we need to improve the trust in citizen science data? Well, data can be a bit messy, and citizen science is not an exception. Some tasks can be challenging, and for decision making, we need to make sure that this data is reliable. In our work, we build statistical models to help assessing the quality of these data sets. We also learn about the abilities of the participants in this process. The positive side, we have found that in our projects, the citizens learn really quickly and they gain expertise and increase their abilities over time, producing high quality data. To put an example, in some of the projects, participants increased their accuracy between eight and 12% just after a few occasions, normally from five to 10 occasions. In this figure, we show the proportion of hard corals in a large set of images from a previous experiments that we performed with citizen scientists. The red line here shows the true proportion of hard corals that we want to estimate using input from the citizen scientists and using a statistical models. The green line is the response that we obtain from the citizens. As you can see, it's a bit biased. However, combining the answers from multiple participants and using a statistical models, we obtain the blue line that is the estimation from our models. The proportion of corals that we predicted from this model in blue is very similar to the true latent proportion of hard corals in red, showing the usefulness of citizen science. 
we build statistical models that allow prediction in areas where no measurements have been taken. For example, in this figure, we show the prediction of hard corals around the Heron Island. The values in areas with a blue dot have been obtained using predictive models. With the help of citizen scientists, we have collected valuable data that then we have used in our research. Here are examples of scientific outputs from our collaboration with citizen scientists. Thank you so much for your attention.